Well, I think going into year two, I think you have to rely on the returners. Um, you know, I think we have a good mix of uh, returning guys and new guys, and and uh, definitely can tell the difference um, in the returning guys in that uh, we're so much more comfortable with each other in, in year two, and I think they have a good understanding of how we like to do things and, and what we want done on the court. And, and then also the recruiting class we brought in is, is our our guys, we had a good chance to recruit them all year, uh, get them out of winning programs, uh, so they come in with a pretty good base already. So just, I think, just a lot more comfortable the second year. It's not going to get any easier, uh, you know, getting this thing turned around. Still got a lot of hard work, but uh, definitely I think uh, we got good guys, good character guys in our program that can uh, move this forward year two. Pretty much a two-month base here trying to get ready. Uh, you know, we put in the work. Now we need to go play games. Uh, you could see it in our scrimmage uh, against MSU. Then a week later, uh, last weekend, we scrimmaged ourselves. And each week we're getting better, but we need to, you know, we need those game type situations to see ourselves and, and to learn from those situations. And obviously we do that uh, this weekend. And so what would you, what will you be looking for out of your team for these first few games? Maybe, I guess, you know, any combinations or just trying to test some, some stuff out or you have everything, you have your rotation pretty well locked in. Well, I have an idea at this point, but boy, I, I, it usually changes. Uh, it's so early. You know, I think a lot of things will change here in the early season. Uh, um, we want to go compete, number one. You know, just come to play, compete, and uh, try to play together. And uh, we're trying to, you know, establish ourselves on the defensive end. I thought we made strides last year, but we need to make some more strides. So we've really put emphasis on the defensive end. And, and then we need to rely on our returners uh, and bring uh, along our new guys and three freshmen uh, will be thrown in there. So uh, a lot going on here uh, the first few weeks. Perfect. And then just a quick talk about the first couple games you have mm -hmm. in the, the Pac West mm -hmm. turn crossover. Well, we're playing two really solid teams, uh, Fresno Pacific, uh, coaches, I think, is in his fourth year, and each year they've gotten better. Uh, they feel real good about what's returning, and they've added uh, a couple of decent players too. So we played them last year. We're familiar with them. Uh, you know, obviously a lot. You know, it was our second game last year, I think, when we played them. But uh, uh, now they got a lot of returners. So uh, definitely a very tough opener with going against a team with some experience. And then uh, Point Loma. Uh, had a great year last year. They've had a lot of changes, uh, all their starters, uh, head coach. Uh, so they, re you know, they return a handful of guys and recruited well, but uh, they're a little bit more of an unknown just because it's a new coach and new system. Uh, we get them on the second night at their place, but uh, obviously they're coming off a, a very successful season, finishing second in the country uh, to be in the top six uh, out of 11. And uh, that gets us to the GNAC tournament and a chance to advance in March. So that, that's our mini goal uh, at the start of the season. Uh, we get to play two conference games, first part of December, then the rest of them are after Christmas. So trying to get ourselves ready for those first two GNAC games uh, here the next three weeks. And uh, GNAC is pretty wide open. Three new coaches, uh, a couple coaches that were at St. Martin's Western Oregon that really had those programs going uh, left. And then Concordia has a new coach. Uh, uh, the traditional powers, Anchorage, Western Washington teams that didn't make the GNAC tourney last year have kind of reloaded. Uh, Seattle Pacific seems to be the main one still sitting there from last year. Uh, they won the conference tournament. So we end up having three teams go to the West region and uh, with Seattle Pacific, Western Oregon, St. Martin. So hopefully uh, the GNAC is good enough to send three this year and we're, we're one of those, you know, one of those three. Well, we want to continue our momentum from year one. Um, we're going to be playing some new guys, so we're still, I think, in the process of getting this program back to where we want it. And this is a big step, uh, you know, with our young guys in year two and really leaning, leaning on the veteran guys. Uh, we want to top six is our main goal, try to get to the GNAC tournament, uh, be very competitive so that, that we are not, you know, we can see that we're right there with the best teams. And uh, I think that's all you can ask for. And, and we'll see how this group comes together. I like the group. I really like how they competed, how we, we've uh, worked together here the first two months. And we need to play some games here. And, and uh, a little tougher schedule for us this year. We're on the road a lot more than last year. Last year, we got pretty comfortable playing a lot of games at home. And so uh, we're on the road a lot here early. Uh, but in January, February, uh, we come home with 10 league games. So that'll be pretty exciting uh, once we get to the first of the year. Preseason's been pretty good, practice good. Uh, we've been going really hard in the weight room. Um, Coach is, you know, he's really uh, knocking in on defense, so we've been going, you know, pretty tough on the court with that. And 
we got a lot of new guys, but everybody's figuring out their roles right now, and it's looking pretty good. I mean, the guys he recruited, he recruited to be great in their role. So last year, you know, it was a new program. We were all still trying to figure it out, but now Coach has, you know, his for sure plan. He knows what he wants. Um, chemistry's great so far, you know. No issues. Everybody's, you know, seems to get along well. Locker rooms well. Um, you know, as far as you know, offense and stuff like that. The, the focus, our focus, is mainly just defense. He knows that you know the offense will come, but as the season goes on, the thing that wins games, wins championships, is defense. So he's trying to harp that right now. Is year two of Coach Durham. Uh, what's different about this year? How do you guys, you know, had a pretty good year last year making it the GNAC tournament. How do you take that next step to? Turn to the GNAC tournament and then possibly advance. Uh, now we know what he wants. You know we know what to expect uh, from him. And you know, instead of us all adjusting, now everything's set in stone. So we're, you know, we got guys who know what it takes to make it to the GNAC tournament. We got guys who know you got the playoff experience, a full season under the GNAC. So you know we just whatever we know and whatever we can teach the new guys, get them on board and just roll. The conference is always tough. You know. We travel pretty far, you know, teams got to come all the way to us. We got to go all the way as far as to Alaska and whatnot. Um, you know, I think this year we got placed to finish fifth. I think that's, you know, not too bad coming from where we were two years ago. Our goal is obviously to win a GNAC tournament, you know, the championship. We want to be regular season champs and win the tournament. Um, personally, yeah, we just, that's all I'm focused on is, is winning. You know, if we win games, accolades will come. But uh, the conference is pretty good this year. Yeah, so it's your senior year, kind of last go round. Um, is there anything that at the start of the year you really look forward to once you transition from, you know, practice preseason to those actual games? Just the process. Then, you know, it's the same as when I fell in love with the game. Practice, you know, you got to ankles taped, whatever you got to do. You know, the process is always the most fun for me. I think practice has been good so far. A lot of guys are working really hard. We're all like gelling together as a team now. I mean, it started off like everyone getting to feel each other. I don't feel like now. Uh, we're coming together more as a team defensively too, which is huge. And uh, practice has been good, and um, so far so good with all our preseason stuff that we've been doing. I just like to play. Like, I mean, everyone says that, but just being able to play competitively and like get into a game set, playing against the same guys every day, it'll be nice because teams won't always know what you're doing. Like, after playing against your own teammates for probably the past like two months, they start to know what you're doing. So it'll be good. It'll be refreshing to like just play someone else for a change and be able to travel a little bit too. Um, me personally, I got to be able to expand my game, get my uh, assist to turnover ratio up, not turn the ball over as much, and uh, find the open teammate more too, and let the game come to me more too. Like, uh, not just try and go head down and go all the time, and uh, try and be more of a vocal leader and talk more on defense. And I think team-wise, one of our goals is to be one of the be best teams in the conference on defense as well and uh, to do that we got to talk and communicate and have each other's back with that. I want to be able to play the best of my ability and help my team win. Our ultimate goal and my ultimate goal is to uh, try and win the GNAC championship but in order to do that we got to win at home, win a couple games on the road, get to the tournament and then go from there. But our ultimate goal is obviously to win the GNAC championship. Uh, I think definitely probably those Rocky games, yeah they'll be fun. Uh, also, I think all our conference games are really good competitive games, and those are always usually pretty fun to play. So I'm excited about those. And obviously, our trip to San Diego this week will be, fun, be a fun one. It's a grind. You just got to be able to play steady and never get high, too high or too low well on what you guys did the game before and have a short memory. And as tough as team wins, I think that's toughest also goes with defense. So I feel like if we just can hunker down and be able to play great defense, majority of our game, our offense will come. Uh, our offense starts with our defense, so I think that'll be a huge key and just got to grind it out. So whoever wants it more, I feel like.